Hey guys, Cape Jack here. Today, we're going to talk about some solar panel stuff. Um, we live in Florida, you know, great sunny place. Uh, we live in Jacksonville. And uh, we've noticed, you know, ever since we've moved into this house, we had our house built about five years ago. And um, we noticed that every year our rates go up. You know, even though our not-for-profit utility company says they're not-for-profit, um, we notice that every year they go up. And so we are up to um, about three to four hundred dollar utility bill. That's water and electricity included. Uh, that's just the way that our utility company does it. So we've been taking a look at different options. Um, solar panel systems, hot water systems, different types of air conditioning systems. So there's a solar powered air conditioner. That's pretty cool technology. Um, attic fans, different ways adding insulation and stuff like that. So the first company we had come out, and I'm not going to name names, um, not until you know the end of their review or something like that. Um, the first company to come out is one of the biggest ones here in Jacksonville. And if you look up Solar Power Jacksonville, it'll be one of the top ones that comes up. And they came out. And uh, based on my utility bill, my electric bill and stuff, they said that our, we use about 15 kilowatts a month, which is a lot. But, you know, I checked with my neighbors, and they all use about the same thing. So um, either we're using really inefficient air conditioners or um, the builder that we used five years ago didn't exactly make these the most efficient homes. I think it's the latter. I think it's the, the builder didn't really make them more efficient. So the first company that we had come out, they quoted me for a 15 kilowatt uh, photovoltaic system. And they also quoted me with a um, hybrid hot water heater, just a 50 gallon one. Also, we got five people, so 50 gallons isn't a lot. Um, and uh, basically, it'd be about $300 a month. But the overall bill at the end of the day, financed for everything, would be... Um, about sixty-four thousand uh, dollars. I'm not looking to buy an Escalade or anything like that. I'm just looking to cut on my utility bill. So obviously, you know, we shop around. We don't just go with the first place that we that we come to. So we called another company, and they came out, and they quoted us. Um, I don't even know what it was. It was. Pretty much the same thing. It was like sixty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars. We had a third company come out, and uh, the third company, which is a great guy, um, he actually talked to me about reducing and improving your efficiency. So reducing the amount of energy that your home wastes. Um, they recommend attic fans, only a like a seven kilowatt system, but then re-insulating and using a special film that they market. Uh, for your windows that prevents like 50% of the heat or like, sorry, 30% of the heat um, that the sun brings in. It would prevent about 30% of that heat from actually being absorbed by your home through the windows, which would be awesome. Um, the problem was his system also was like $60,000. You know, I guess it really helps to go in with a budget to these places, but I didn't have a budget because we really had no idea on where to start. All I know is I want to cut my JEA bill, you know, my utility company bill. So the fourth guy we had come in, um, they've been around for quite a while. They were actually from Central Florida, and they just opened up into Jacksonville. They, their main thing, their main shtick was reducing. You know, make sure that you reduce the amount of energy that your home wastes. So they're going to do that in a couple different ways. That's the way that we've decided to go is first let's reduce, and then we'll figure out where we need to make up the cost or the difference. So the first thing we're doing is we're going to put in a radiant barrier in the attic. And what that does is that uh, prevents a majority of the heat from the sun that hits your attic. And I'll, I'll find some videos and, and tie them in. Um, it's a lot of heat in your attic. Your attic can be 150, 200 degrees during the summer. And we live in Florida, so it's that hot all the time. And so it really draws a lot of heat, you know, a lot of coolness away from my air conditioner. It makes it work a lot. So the radiant barrier prevents that heat from getting into your attic. Um, by creating barriers and air gaps in the attic to your to your um, to your ceiling, you know your roof. Um, so that's one way. The other way is we're going to add some solar attic fans, and that those are going to kick on. Which pretty much when Florida, 
Uh, they said they'll be programmed to run at 80 degrees, so they're pretty much going to run all the time when there's light on it. Um, the third way is to re-insulate your attic. They said what happens is a lot of builders come in, or you know, or re-insulating companies, and they insulate uh, on the cheap, meaning they say, you know, we're going to put in two feet, which five years ago, two feet was standard for insulation, according to our area. Two feet of insulation in your attic all the way through it. Well, the problem with that is they went cheap. And so instead of using, let's say it was going to take 30 bags of insulation to get two feet all the way through my attic, they turn up the hopper, which is the thing that you feed the insulation into, they turn it up so it puts a lot of air into the insulation. And so you might be able to insulate the same square footage with 15 bags instead of 30. So over time, when it actually settles, rather than having two feet, you got 10 inches. But at the time when they did inspection, it was two feet. So it's kind of the cheap way that they went out. The um, third way is, is um, venting your garage. You have an option, you know, you can put like a, a ceiling fan in your garage that kicks on based on a thermostat and will pull air out of your garage, which is where your air conditioner lives most times unless they live in the house, but your air handler lives inside. So if your garage is 100 degrees, when it's pulling air in, it's pulling in 100 degree air versus if you vent it, um, it might only be pulling in 80 degree air, which is a lot easier to cool. So, and then the third way, or sorry, the fourth way we're going to be, um, we're going to be uh, taking our utility bill down is getting a hot water heater, a solar hot water heater. They'll put a panel on the roof, a thermal panel that gets radiant heat. So it's not necessarily solar heat, it's radiant heat. So just heat in the air, plus the solar obviously, which helps. Um, the, sol the heat off the roof, all that helps. And um, the heat is absorbed by these gases in the tubes in the panel. And then that panel in turn superheats the water up to, you know, 200 degrees plus. It can be 250 degrees. And then that's filtered back down into your um, hot water tank. So they're taking my old hot water tank and replacing it. And I'm actually going to take that and probably give it to my dad because um, I, I know his is older. Or we're going to donate it to Habitat to Humanity because under five years old, they'll usually accept a hot water heater. And it'll get you, get you a tax deduction most likely, which is great. Do I need a tax deduction? No. Will I take one? Sure. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to put in an 80 gallon hot water tank. And these hot water tanks are a lot more efficient than the electric ones. Your electric hot water tank, if you don't know, heats and cools all day. It'll heat it to, you know, 150 degrees. And then within just a matter of minutes, it's already dropped down back under what it needs to be. So then the, the element kicks on, kicks off, kicks on, kicks off. The solar hot water is a little bit different. It's better insulated, better encapsulated, so that when it heats the water, it's, it's much more efficient. It doesn't lose the heat as quickly um, by, by several percent. You know, your hot water heater is very, very um, inefficient, you know. And uh, the solar ones are much, much, much more efficient. They only lose a, a fraction of a percent over the course of an hour. So instead of your water heater kicking on and off all day, it might only run, you know, a couple hours, period, all day long. And it's a much bigger tank, and it's heated much, much hotter, so we don't have to worry about that. And it's not pulling off the grid, which we would love to go to a zero um, utility bill if it were possible, you know. Um, but that's going to be a lot of money. So this is our first investment on this home. We plan to be here for quite a while. Um, and for us, for our square footage and our plan, interrupted by a phone call. Um, actually, that was the, the guy who just sold this system to me and uh, just forgot to do some paperwork. Anyway, so that's our goal, and we are, you know, I'm doing this video now because uh, the information's in my head, and if I wait, you know, the video won't get done. So I'm going to upload this one today, and the guys are actually coming tomorrow. So I'm going to go clean out my garage, because i got to make a path for them to my hot water heater, and um, I'm going to shoot a little bit of video of probably of the roof, of the garage, of the attic, um, just to give you an idea of, you know, before and after. And so we're going to see what it looks like. And then I'll throw up some of, some of uh, my utility bills. I actually got the last year's worth of my utility bills. And I'm going to throw that into the video. And then um, once I put up the video tomorrow of them all, you know, putting everything together, because it only takes a few hours to do it, uh, then what I'll do is probably in a few weeks or a month, I'll do a follow-up video to this one, and I'll post what I saved. 
And I know there are going to be skeptics and it's not really going to help that it's turning into winter in Florida, so it's not 110 degrees again, it's 80. But we're going to see how it drops my utility bill. You know, my JEA bill, like I said, it's between three and $400 every month. Um, that's water and electric included because they, they do both. They don't, they don't separate them right up front. So I'll have to show on the bill where it's separated out, you know, what I pay and then what I will be paying or what I'm actually paying after the installation. Um, I will say a good friend of mine, his dad actually just had this done and that's where we were referred from. You know, they, they heard I was looking and um, so my friend said, hey, you know, we called this guy, they came out, they did this installation and last month alone on their bill, they saved $140, which is awesome. And his bill was up to four or $500 a month uh, and he was in a much older home, a much more inefficient home. And the newer homes are being more efficient, which is, which is great, but that doesn't really help me. Um, and what I was told, you know, have this guy come out. So we had him come out, and we've been talking to him back and forth. We've been looking at solar and, and different options for several months, so it's not something that we just jumped into because it's a financial responsibility, not just a personal one, to, to try and use less, to try and... I want to keep more money for me rather than give it to my utility company. And if you think about it, the amount of money you're going to spend on a solar system or whatever, you're going to pay your utility company anyway if you don't find some way to replace it. You know, your, your electric bill might be $200 a month, so you can either spend that on your home and invest it into your home, into a solar system or a hot water tank or insulation or something to reduce the efficiency, which is going to reduce your bill. So if you're paying $300 to a solar system, for an example, um, and it wipes your, your utility bill down to nothing, would you rather give your, your, your $300, your, your hard-earned money, would you rather give it to you and your home on a solar panel system or another way to, to generate your own power, or would, do you want to give it to the utility company? That's really what it came down to us, is we like to have our money. We, you know, If I had it my way, I would have a solar system and I would actually unplug from the grid. I would much rather power myself than be reliant on something else that requires me to pay money out of. But once I pay this system off, it's it paid for itself. And that should take, if we make the minimum payment, like your credit card, if we make the minimum payment, it'll take about 10 years. And um, But if you think about it, if I'm paying $300 to a utility company over 10 years, that's $3,600 or you know $3,600 a month, or $3,600 a year, um, times 10, you're talking $36,000, where if I can put that on my roof at $36,000, there's no difference. You know, I'm, I'm paying somebody. I'm either paying myself back um, that way or I'm paying the utility company. So that's all I'm going to say for this video, and um, I'm going to go and start uh, edit, you know, start cleaning out my garage. So good luck with that. I'll see you guys later.